Asimwe Bakatikwa is what is known as an Ebola contact tracer from the northeastern city of Beni in the Democratic Republic of Congo. She looks for people who have come in contact with Ebola patients, then monitors their health for 21 days. Bakatikwa's first morning stop is a home of a woman whose neighbor died of the disease earlier this month. And then another neighbor who attended the burial. This is not an easy job. Sometimes people are hostile, others go into hiding or don't give their proper address. But we explain to them that what we're doing is for their own good. The number of people becoming sick has reduced in urban towns and cities like Beni. But doctors are still struggling to contain the disease in the villages farther out. As we head to Mangina town, the number of stops on the road for people to wash their hands and have their temperature checked tells us we're approaching ground zero. It's in villages in this area where the first cases of Ebola were discovered nearly a year and a half ago. Kambole Mundoleko lost 13 relatives, including his mother. My aunt got sick first. Relatives nursed her until she died. Then we buried her and that's how more people got sick. Some communities have been hostile to health visitors, resisting attempts to get help. Several treatment centers and dozens of health workers have been attacked. Educating people about the Ebola issue is a big priority. Most performers are all local artists who are loved and respected here. In areas like this, where chances of getting sick are high, actors and musicians are increasingly being used to spread the message of how to deal with Ebola. Responders are also working in volatile areas where rebel fighters ambush villages at will. World Health Organization officials say despite these problems, they're hoping to have zero Ebola cases by the end of the year. It's important to make sure that the situation in the hotspot I talked about is under control, taking into account the challenges, mainly in terms of security, but also making sure that we don't have reintroduction in big cities like Butembo and Beni. At the market in Beni, a skit is performed, simulating a death and safe burial. It's a serious story told in a simple way. The performers hope it will drive the point home that Ebola is real and dangerous, but can be treated if detected early. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Mangina, Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo.